Krita is an amazing paint program. And it's got some built-in features that, well, it's slowly becoming my new daily creative driver. And there's a feature that I think is absolutely amazing that I want to share with you. My name's Art, this is Contagorous Tech, and today we're going to look at colorize filter layer thing in Krita to make coloring pictures faster, because that's a thing. So if you're not familiar with Krita, it's an amazing open source paint program that runs on uh, Mac, Linux, Windows, and even Android. Quite well, might I add, on all three platforms. And there's a lot of amazing things, but today I want to highlight the colorized layer because I feel like if you've done any kind of creative artwork, especially like comic books or whatever, you know that coloring can be this kind of this daunting task where you're like, I don't want to bother doing this. This sounds excruciating. And this um, feature really makes this a lot easier to do. So this is a ink line drawing I did. I did this with the computer mouse. That's, that's why you can see it is exquisite quality. Um, but I want to colorize this guy and I don't want to have to do a lot of work to get it done right. And with the colorize fill, uh, layer mask, it makes it very easy. So first thing we do is we right click on the, uh, the layer. We add a colorize mask. Now this is going to generate this magical little mask over here. And if you go over here to this little paintbrush with like stars, I guess it's shining or whatever. So this is going, you click this and now as you can see, it acts like this transparency level. But the idea is you put um, colors in between the lines and it gives it a guide for it to use this kind of like AI tracing to guess where it thinks you want that color. So I'm going to go over here into my color blocks here. I'm going to grab this yellow. I think he needs a nice, disgusting yellow. So I want his eyes to be white and his teeth to be white, but his skin to be this white. You can do X's. Some people do X's. Some people just do the lines. And if there's any ambiguity, you can go over your lines to be like, yes, definitely fill this area in. And see, I'm avoiding the mouth because I don't want the mouth to turn uh, yellow. But that's it. That should be enough data to tell that I want to fill this area with yellow. But we also want to get the eyes. So let's grab the white for the eyes. We're just going to do a circle here and a circle here. And I'm just going to run a line through the teeth. Going over the line, that way they know that is separate. Here comes the tricky part. I want the background to be auto-filled with transparency. I technically want nothing there. So the recommended technique is you find a very, uh, a color that's not already in your plat platform. So I'm going to do this nice, nice deep blue here. I'm going to go draw the blue on this layer, but there's one extra step. I have to, um, tell the program that I want blue to be transparent. So you come down here to your uh, keystrokes on this is your tool options for the little magical paintbrush colorized mask. And you select the color that you want to be transparent and select that. And now it knows anywhere you've colored the color blue or whatever color you pick will not be filled with the color and it'll stay transparent as it is. So we got this far. We have the areas marked off with the colors we want. How do we get the magic to happen? Well, all the way over here is just like a little circle thing. This is going to activate, run the algorithm, and then it's going to load it into a editing preview mode, which I'll show you right now. So click on that really fast. Uh, depending on the speed of your computer, it can be very, very fast. But it looks a little weird because it's got both layers here. We're going to deactivate the edit layer, and there it is. And the best part is, like this, if I remove the background layer, it's transparent where I want to be transparent and it's white where I want to be white. And other than the fact that I was taking the time to slowly show you where things are, this really speeds up the coloring process for cartoons and comics and other line artwork. Um, and if you want to commit it, you can, oh, you can always turn the editor back on and fix things. if like little areas you didn't quite catch. Um, but then you can just right click it when you're done and convert to a paint layer. And there you go. If you like this tutorial, feel free to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. We also have a Patreon, like these cool cats who have been supporting me 
and I couldn't have done it without them. So that is coloring. I feel like more Krita videos are coming because I've been using Krita a lot more and uh, I hope you're prepared for it.